Her Majesty. Grimsley, stop following me. No, I, I beg you. Grimsley, Your stop! <laughs> ah, Charlotte, I did not expect you. The Danbury Ball was a trial. Has your highness ever tried cutting English mutton with a dull knife? I beg your pardon. The knives at Buckingham House used to be sharp enough. Then, one day, they were all dull. It happened to be the day the king joined me there. I believe we may have to break fast another morning, Lady Howe. Yes, ma'am. Odd, I thought, but surely a coincidence. Surely a coincidence, too, that the very same day the windows were sealed shut on the upper floors and suddenly locks everywhere. Locks on the armoury, the kitchen, the shed where the gardeners keep their shears. A coincidence, surely. What I could not quite convince myself was a coincidence, though, was when the library set of Shakespeare was suddenly missing King Lear. Forgive me, I am not a Shakespeare enthusiast. The one about the mad king, because the king is mad and I live in a mad house. You forget yourself, Charlotte. All this time I thought I was the damaged one. That somehow I was deficient when he... The king is not mad. The king is merely exhausted from holding the greatest nation in the world on his shoulders. What could you know about that? The weight of that on a boy. The weight on his mother as she watches her son start to crack. If God grant you ever do bear an heir, then you may start to learn. And your first lesson will be this. You would do anything to stop the cracking. You would engage hideous doctors and a thousand disgusting treatments. You would scour Europe for a queen grateful enough to aid him. And yes, if necessary, you would leave the rough edges of his nature for his bride to discover in due course. Rough edges? He was talking to the sky! And what of it? You were nothing. You came from nowhere. Now you sit at the helm of the world. What matter if your husband has his peculiarities? I did not ask to sit at the helm of the world. I did not even ask for a husband. But if I must have one, if I must leave my home, my family, my language, my life, it cannot be for a man I do not know. The man I was not allowed to know, for a lie! Your insolence truly knows no bounds. You are unhappy with your situation, perched at the pinnacle of power, a mere pawn plucked from nowhere, doing nothing of substance.